Have you ever wanted to have the same insane pets that so many YouTubers out there have? You looked at them and you're like, oh man, I just want that mystic gem so much, but I'm only allowed to play a couple of hours a day and then I have to go and do my homework or have a shower, eat dinner, so on and so on. And you lose so much time hatching. Well, let me tell you right now, Robux are the only reason we have better pets than you guys. But also... We also do little sneaky little things. We have techniques. Most of the end game players for things like Bubblegum Simulator and almost every other simulator in the game, they're using auto clickers, guys. If you are on a PC or I'm pretty sure an Android device, you can definitely use auto clickers. There's a very rudimentary version of it for iPhones, but let's be honest, guys, iPhones are so locked up with Apple's just like turning them not into computers and into just trashy little phones that it's a lot easier if you've got an Android, okay? But we're not going to do that today. We're going to do this on PC, how you can hatch eggs forever. Never stop hatching completely free to play. So let me explain why this is possible. There are three reasons that this is super easy in Clicking Legends opposed to say Bubblegum Simulator. Number one is that the, I'm sorry to say this game developer, but the menus are pretty poorly coded. So what you're actually able to do is obviously you can auto open eggs and you can also have your pet inventory open. So you will just keep hatching while your pet inventory is open, which means it's super easy just to click and click and it will keep deleting pets without you ever having to do anything. Now also with the auto click function, once you unlock it in the shop here, you can sustain all of your clicks. You'll never run out of money. So you need to have the auto clicker here, which you purchase pretty early on in the game anyway. It also would really help if you're totally free to play to unlock the more luck. That's definitely a big deal. And then obviously uh, more pets equipped if you're having a harder time, you know, getting enough clicks. So if you can't make more than you spend with the auto clicker turned on, you might need to be able to equip some more pets. So maybe buy those upgrades. Also buy the faster auto clicker upgrade. Just basically what you need is you need to make more clicks than you spend. It shouldn't be too difficult. It can be when you're just getting started, but obviously when you're just getting started, you wouldn't be buying the 500 QD clicking egg. Maybe you're only up to the egg in the candy world, which you can still do. This will work on any egg in the game. So maybe you're able to do this egg. So just come over here and do exactly what I was doing. So the other two things that make it super possible for you to auto click is that one, obviously the menus don't really function all that well. And two is because two free to play features that are typically pay to play in other games. And that is the fact that you can auto delete completely free. You do not need a game pass to do that. And you can auto open completely for free. You don't need a game pass to do it. Obviously, if you're totally free to play, you would auto open. You'd only get one egg at a time. I get three eggs at a time. But, you know, like just ignore the fact that I get three eggs and the fact that I have a bigger inventory. You can still do this regardless because your pets are being deleted so quickly that it doesn't matter how small your inventory is, it'll be completely sustainable. A little bit of a, uh, a weird flex here, guys, but today, while I was taking a nap and using this method, I managed to hatch myself the Mystic Gem. This is my first one. I'll hopefully be able to get more, but I did hatch a Mystic Gem today while I was asleep, which is uh, exactly what this is sort of for. If you're asleep, if you're at school, if you're doing homework or something like that, you can leave this running and you can get amazing pets. Even without luck boosts, if you open enough eggs, eventually you're going to get decent pets. In this case, even something as simple as a shiny celebration dragon, 1.13 million clicks. That's insane. If you auto click your way to 1.13 million in a pet, maybe you get a full team of them. That's insane. Yeah, you might not get the Mystic Gem, it's insanely rare. But in the future, when there's an easier to get secret pet, then maybe you will be able to get yourself something amazing like a secret pet. I auto-clicked my way for these three secret pets, the Grand Patriotic Overlord, they was pretty common. I hatched two of them in a single night while I was asleep. So let's get into how to do this now, guys. We're gonna use a very simple program, the GS Auto-Clicker. Now, last time I made a video like this, I wasn't sure if the GS was totally safe. I have confirmed, though. The GS is perfectly safe. All of its outgoing packets are just user data log. For example, basically when you open it, it sends a little bit of information to their website saying that the program has been opened and they're probably collecting data on how many people use the program. 
not a big deal. There's no big information going out, like passwords or anything like that, so you're perfectly safe. Here is the GS Auto Clicker. Super simple little program. I'll leave it in the description of today's video. You can press F8 to start clicking, which is completely amazing. So let's set things up here, guys. Let's go. We got the auto right here. We're gonna open our pet inventory, and then we're gonna go into options on the GS Auto Clicker or whatever auto clicker you wanna use. You need to go to your recording section for multiple clicks. Right now, I've got it set to seven clicks because unfortunately, I'm gonna clear this and ruin my auto clicker for Bubblegum Simulator, but that's fine, I'll set it up again another time. So we'll get rid of that. Yes, okay, now let's pick points for auto clicking. Super easy to do. Pick a point, delete all. Pick a point, yes, that's it. That's all there is to it. There was seven points for Bubblegum Simulator and you needed two game passes. This one, two clicks. Zero game passes. That's actually how easy it is, guys. So now all we're gonna do is we'll close our inventory really quickly. We could, you could have just pressed T, but we'll start auto opening like so. I'm gonna move the GS auto clicker off the screen. Actually, I'll put it up in the top corner here so it's out of the way. You guys can still see it's working. Open my pets inventory, and then I'm gonna press F8. And as you can see, it's gonna keep deleting my non-legendary pets. Watch, it goes up a little bit. The number didn't even go up. It deleted them so fast. There we go. It went up to 68, back down to 65. You can just leave it like this forever. Forever and ever. Until the game updates or the servers go down or your internet goes out, of course. There are a couple of logistical issues that you can run into here. And I will give you guys fair warning for this stuff, obviously. Right now, in the Roblox TOS... They only specifically forbid scripts, which means third-party programs that actually hack. They essentially hack. They inject foreign data to make things happen in the game that shouldn't happen. Like, a good example would be in Bubblegum Simulator when you're climbing up to the islands, you can use a hacked script to inject the values that teleport you to those islands, unlocking the islands, and you don't have to do any jumping for yourself. That is against the Roblox TOS. Auto clickers, on the other hand, are not specifically against the TOS, and I have a feeling they might be in the near future, but right now they are not, so technically you are not in any sort of trouble. The other issue being is if you're using a laptop, you may experience some heating issues, and for that I say pick your battles sort of thing. Maybe if you're going to do homework for an hour, turn your auto clicker on, let it hatch eggs while you're doing your homework, you might get lucky, and that way you can be to your parents like, hey, I'm gonna leave this auto clicker on and now I'm gonna completely focus on my homework and then your parents will be cool with it. I hope. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know your parents, guys. But hopefully you can do things like that, you know? Like, focus on your homework because auto clicker's doing the work for you. You don't need to worry about the game. You're getting pets as it is. And if you're like me and you're running a desktop computer, unless your computer's absolute garbage, in which case you should probably invest in some new fans or some water cooling, you can run these things pretty much 24-7 and they're not going to overheat. You should turn them off periodically though. Don't leave it on forever like I do, it's a terrible thing. I go through computers, they probably break down every couple of years instead of say every five years. But to be fair, you should probably buy a new one every two years anyway. You can get some heating issue guys, you need to be wary of your own devices. And of course, if you're going to try and do this on a mobile phone, be wary of the apps that you install because a lot of them just have like adware and stuff like that and they're just going to spam you with ads and it's not going to be worth your time. And to wrap up today's vid, I just want to make it very clear, I don't really use this method that much while I'm on my computer. I have two screens, so I will put the auto clicker on, throw it on my second screen and then do editing on my main screen or something like that. Sorry, that was wrong. I will throw on the auto hatch. I don't need the auto clicker most of the time because I'm actually at my computer and I can manually delete them. But whenever I'm asleep, I will be auto clicking either here on Bubblegum Simulator, on other simulators, because the reality is as a YouTuber, I need to stay up to date with being the strongest in stuff. And to do that, auto clickers are really effective. For those of you who are lucky enough to be able to do it, good luck. Let me know in the comment section down below if you hatch anything amazing. I've already gotten something amazing. I'm pretty pleased to have this pet already. It's absolutely insane. Good luck to all of you who are trying. Of course, this method works while you're boosted and stuff like that. All your boosts do is just make your rates better and you hatch more stuff. Alrighty guys, thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll try and help you out as much as I can. Subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell to join the hashtag blue team. And guys, I will see you all tomorrow with a brand new video. Time.